Hi everyone. In the previous videos, we have covered the topics like uh, uh, app authentication process of uh, Laravel with uh, Big Commerce, and uh, we have successfully installed uh, a third-party script into the Big Commerce Store Front Script Manager. And in this video, what we will do, uh, we will learn about the installation of uh, Stencil uh, framework for the development of themes in Big Commerce. Yeah, so this video is dedicated to Stencil CLI installation. To continue this process, I would like to remind you about the authentication token we have generated in the previous video. So this is laravel.log file in which we have uh, the authentication token uh, debugged. So if I show you the route controller, I have applied a log debug here for access token and uh, during the app authentication process i have generated the access token using the authentication token api and i have uh, printed this access token in the laravel.log file so this access token will be useful in this video so keep in mind that and other thing is that there will be a storefront url which is uh, the url of our home page that is https thoughtstore.mybigcommerce.com so it will also be useful so i have prepared a documentation for the installation of uh, stencil cli and at the end of video we will be able to look this complete theme uh, at our local end so currently this is live so for the theme development part it is very uh, it is very uh, usable to have this uh, theme at our local end for 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 proper development and then after developing things we will be publishing this theme back to big commerce yeah so let's start so what we'll do we'll go to the installation document and first of all uh, let me tell you one thing that uh, we, uh, this is the big commerce admin admin panel and uh, in this admin panel we can go to um, storefront and themes here we will get current theme which is cornerstone light we can go to the advanced tab and we can download current theme so when you press on this download current theme a copy of this theme will be downloaded in our local system like this i have already downloaded it in downloads folder there is corner store cornerstone 6.12.0 so i have downloaded it so make sure you you also download it first and then first step is this download this theme and apart from it after downloading it from here download current theme after downloading it from here we will be back to our installation document and first we will be making sure that we have nvm installed so we will be running this command for installation and running of nvm so i am pasting it here and and here after that i will be reloading dot bash rc file so that nvm works properly so copy it and then paste it here and after it i will be installing and using the supported node version so for it currently uh, supported node version stable node version for stencil cli is 18.15.0 so i will be pasting it here after that i will be using that so i will be copying it and pasting it here and it is the message that now using node version 18.15.0 and the corresponding npm version is here and after it i will be installing stencil cli so the command is npm install minus g for global and then at the rate big commerce stencil cli so make sure to copy it and paste it in the terminal and it will take some time i think some 10 to 20 seconds and after that 
we will be copying our theme files which we have downloaded in the first step uh, from our admin panel here and we will be pasting uh, and we will be pasting these files from our downloads folder to the folder where we want to install our theme so from downloading it here it will be gone to download folder so copy these all these files from here and uh, currently it's installing uh, stencil CLI so uh, yeah it's installed so I will be uh, so I will be installing my theme or I will be keeping my theme directory in videos stencil folder so I will be going to uh, make sure to copy all these files from here and go to HTML I'm going to HTML where I'm keeping my uh, where I have kept my uh, theme files so videos and then videos and then stencil here so I have pasted it here after pasting it here uh, I will copy theme files and paste in the desired directory yes then then jump into that directory I am already in this directory so uh, now I have to run npm install npm install and it will be re it will read the config.json file and then it will install all the dependencies so it have installed all the dependent dependencies so after this what I have to do uh, I have to run stencil in it now focus here what I'm doing stencil in it this is the main part so here you have to page your home page URL so your home page URL will be this copy it from here and then paste it here and then you have to paste your access token OAuth access token which we have generated during the app authentication process so copy it from here and then paste it here and then it's asking on which port you want to run your server on so it is saying that uh, do you want to run your server server on 3000 port so yes so please press enter and after that run stencil start after running stencil start uh, address it's saying address already in use so let's do another thing stencil in it yes and then authentication token is correct and not 3000 just say uh, use 5500 and then run stencil start and after that that port was already in use so I provided a new port which is 5500 and then everything is running if we scroll above uh, by scrolling above we find that uh, if I control and click on this HTTP localhost 5500 we can see that our storefront is ready on our local system yeah and it's all done you can go to a product and simply you can see that everything is working you can add to cart and proceed uh, proceed to checkout so yes everything is working properly so in this way we have successfully installed uh, our storefront or we can say that uh, we have successfully installed our theme in our local system using stencil framework so thanks for watching this video